Hello and namaste. My name is Brandon Foltz, and I teach statistics and other mathy things here on YouTube. If you like this video, please subscribe and ring that bell for more. In this video, we will learn more about linear equations to prepare us for linear regression. Now I know your time is valuable, so let's go ahead and get to it. Let's zoom in here so we can read everything. This asks us, use the columns year and flu cases diagnosed. Y is year the independent variable. So Y is the independent variable. And number of flu cases diagnosed, the dependent variable. So that's what it's just asking us about, the independent and dependent variables. And I will say that I am recording this video during the COVID-19 pandemic. So this is kind of ironic in a way. But what we're asking here is what is the number of flu cases as a function of time. What we're asking another way is, what are the number of flu cases diagnosed dependent on the year that we're in? It might look something like this if we graph it. So X and Y, and then our X axis here will be time. And then of course the Y will be uh, cases, flu cases. And what we're trying to figure out in what's called a time series so we call these time series, okay, graphs, is what's a trend over time? So if we look back here to like, we're starting here at around 1981. Again, this is a very crude graph. We had number of flu cases uh, diagnosed. And then over time, it seems to go small, then it goes up, something like this. It seems to peak right around the early 90s were around this time. So we'll say, you know, 1993-ish. And then it drops off quite a bit. Now in real life, that has to do with the type of population they're dealing with, the age of the population, and of course, the number of people getting vaccinated for the seasonal flu. That's what it can change. The reason time is the independent variable one, that's what's changing over time. And then we think that the number of cases of flu depends on where we are at in time. And that's why time is independent and the number of cases is the dependent. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Before you go, please check out some of the other content I have here on my channel. That being said, I appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me. I wish you all the best in your work and in your studies and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.